Hello, this is and today we're comparing Cafe Rio versus Chipotle. Hey Nick, what's going on? So, what do you favor more, Cafe Rio or Chipotle? I love Chipotle much more than Cafe Rio. Aren't you gonna ask me what I like more? No. You know, what do you like more? <laughs> I like Cafe Rio more. We're ending this friendship. We are ending this friendship <laughs> today. Because look, look at this burrito versus that burrito. Well, let's go over something real quick. The four categories we're gonna be going over today in terms of our Comparative analysis of Cafe Rio versus Chipotle. Comparative analysis. Comparative analysis. Presentation, mm -hmm. flavor, cost, and overall likability. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Chipotle! I'm gonna take the first bite because I like Chipotle more. Okay. Go ahead. Just watch this. Look at me. Well, eye contact. That's, that's real nice. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, look. I mean, the steak is good. What do you like about it? I like that it's a burrito and I can hold it. All right. So I'm a very like I like to be able to hold my burrito. I don't like the fork and knife burrito. I like to have to use two hands to hold it too. I could use one hand, but it does. My hands it's too wide for me to wrap my hands all the way around. So I have to use two <laughs> hands. <laughs> the presentation, I mean, on a scale of one to five, I'll give them, you know, a two. And I give it a two as well. I mean, it looks gray and kind of dead, but at the same time, the inside has more life inside of it. So we're going for two. Flavor, on a scale of one to five on flavor, I give it a four. I'm going to give it a three. Ooh. I like the kick. The steak is really good. If it was the steak alone, oh. Still a three. <laughs> Cost effectiveness. For a steak burrito at Chipotle, you are only paying $8. At Cafe Rio for a burrito, you are paying how much? $10.79. Oh, plus a dollar because you wanted an enchilada style. So you're paying $11.79 plus tax for your Cafe Rio burrito. Mm -hmm. So on a scale of one to five, Chipotle gets a five and Cafe Rio gets a one because it's the only way you can rate that. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the overall, he said the overall like likingness of it. I give it like a four. I give it a four. Four burrito. Uh, for doing aesthetics along with the taste, uh, two and a half for me. Cafe Rio. And now. Fork and knife, please. Fork and knife, because this burrito is what, Chris? Enchilada style. Enchilada. All right, I'm gonna start it off. I mean, we can cut. We can cut into both. All right, go for it. He's gonna start us off because you know Cafe Rio is his favorite. Okay. Oh, okay. Going. oh my gosh, man! <laughs> I didn't know how else to do it, man. I've never eaten an enchilada style burrito. Boop. I give you some sour cream. Thank you. It is so much better. Oh, so much better. And you got cilantro. Mm. Ron, would you like some salad? <laughs> Since I am not a rabbit, no, I do not. I'm not going to say that it's bad. Okay, next, our rating. Number one, presentation. Presentation on a scale of one to five is definitely a four. What about you for presentation, Chris? Uh, for me, presentation, I'm gonna give it a four as well. It's not like, you know, Gordon Ramsay type of presentation, but it is, it, I mean, it makes you want to eat it. As far as burritos go in a bowl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it makes you want to eat it, because you look at it and you're like, wow, look at the colors, you know? Okay. Eat it. Oh, yes. All right, so on a scale of one to five on the flavor scale, I give this one a three. You know, 
to me, just takes a little drive for me. Like, I don't know, I'm not a big enchilada style fan. The fact that I use a fork and knife is kind of like, to me, uh, uh, so much work. When I can just hold it with two hands like this. Flavor for me? Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it because of the cheese? Uh-huh. And it's just so much better to me. What'd you give it? I gave it a, I gave it a three. Three, five, four. All right. Cost, it's effectivity. A, it's a one. We already went over that. It's a lot. It's like, not a lot more. It's, it's like three it's like three dollars more. But it's better. Overall likability. I gave it a two. I don't know why. For me? <coughs> I'm still eating it, so overall likability, Cafe Rio. Mathematology. I do not. Alright, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. And 14. Cafe Rio wins the case of the Cafe Rio wins the whole thing! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So now we got, we got the quesos from both restaurants. So on a presentation scale right away, just to let you guys know, Chipotle, Chipotle wins because they put it in an actual like Chipotle container. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be using Chipotle chips for both of them because Cafe Rio didn't give us the chips that we asked for. That's okay though. We didn't ask for chips. <laughs> no, I did. And we did? Yeah. Oops. Years ago. Oops. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. I'm not a queso fan, but hold on. Neither am I. Alright. And that was your bullet. That was Cafe Rio. Oh. Ready? Okay. I'm gonna count up to three rather. Ready? Alright. Ready? One. Two, three. Chipotle. Oh, hey. <laughs> Chipotle's queso does win because, you know, it just tastes a whole lot better. This, I don't know what that is. It's really thick, so if I pour it on the <laughs> 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 Plus, it just tastes like, you know, it doesn't even taste like cheese. It doesn't even look like cheese. Don't. Oh, my God. Uh, no, Chipotle still wins. <laughs> Chipotle wins. So today's winner of the food competition is... Cafe Rio! I'm gonna be honest with you, after today's challenge, I mean, Cafe Rio has a little bit better flavors in some ways, but Chipotle definitely wins the cost-effective contest. Oh, so. And the queso contest, so next time you're looking for queso, go to Chipotle. Next time you're looking for a good burrito, go to Cafe Rio. Go to Cafe Rio, that's a good idea. Alrighty, guys. Tasty Makers signing out. Make sure you subscribe down below. Comment where you want us to compare next. Whether it could be In and Out with Smash Burger, it could be Steak and Shake and Freddy's, it could be anything you want. Just comment down below what you guys want us to compare next. Signing out, Tasty Makers. Deuces.